Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm trying to do some organizing today. I know that sounds kind of boring. I wish I had a live stream, but apparently a rule is you have to have a thousand subs to live stream, which we're not close to doing um, by any means. Although we're getting back close to being 50 again. Um, hopefully we'll start to tumble and hit 100 quick so we can do another big giveaway or decent sized giveaway. Um, today though, uh, organizing may usually be boring, but because this is a Pokemon channel, um, I figured y'all sit back and just enjoy, um, me, I, I figured one of my rules today, I think, is to at least, I got several binders, um, but there's a way I'm trying to organize things to speed up selling stuff and getting stuff sent to the PSA, so I think today it's just gonna be me at least pairing out one binder, and so we're just gonna be pulling out cards, now some of these are already sleeved, which is nice, and we'll just take a quick look at them, um, it's a lot like David Lee's, uh, or Pokemon Vintage Hunter Brothers, uh, Midnight with Pokemon, although it's probably really long. Now, the sad part is about this book is not everything's in perfect condition, but, you know, that's kind of it, you know, it's just going through the cards, and we're just pulling them out, making sure they're sleeved, a penny sleeve at minimum, and then we'll take the cards, and We'll put them on the table where I have things sort of organized or I'm trying to organize things. I think the biggest disappointment for me with this card is when I, you know, on eBay, these sometimes you can see listed at $800 $3,000. And so I was super excited, but, you know, that's just what, uh, you know, people are listing at. It's not actually what it goes for. Although, one special thing about uh, Machamp's um, background is it's actually his fists going like Goku anime speed punching style a lot of people probably miss that that's at you know it's his fist going super speed but yeah probably one of the cheapest first editions um in out of all the pokemon cards uh okay so this was sleeved upside down so that's interesting oh so this card's in decent condition it has a few wears hold on re-sleeving it it's got a few scratches on its uh hollow foil but it's a really good condition zapdos um, so yeah, we'll probably re-sleeve that later. It's interesting that it was sleeved upside down. Oh, that's a, actually, that's a fantastic Zapdos. I think there's, is that, oh yeah, so this is a, in, you know, from, at least from the sleeve, you know, once you pull the sleeve out, you see, I'm starting to see somewhere on the corner there, slightly bent, but still really good condition Zapdos. I forget which binder this was that I purchased, which, you know, sounds bad, but I'm certain I got for a good deal. That's what I try and do. A nice dark dragon knight, a lot of wear on his uh, hollow foil, but oh, any swirls? Any swirls? Any swirls? Any swirls for the girls? No, I'm not seeing any swirls. So yeah, you know, if if this isn't your thing, just go ahead and cut out. Oh, Shadowless Raichu. We'll have to send that in the PSA, although I'm seeing some silvering on the front, which means there's probably some whiting on the back, but hey, Shadowless Raichu, can't go wrong with that. I know y'all probably see this first edition of Aporion. However, it is not in English. I believe it's in German or French. PV, I believe, is French. Um, I think KP is German. And also, it looks like the hollow foil is... Yeah, the hollow foil is pretty scratched up. Um, but hey, first edition. Um, not seeing any swirls either on this one. But a uh, first edition of Aporion. Oh, got a... Jolteon, but once again, not in the perfect condition. I don't know what's up with people and and their cards not being in. Like, if you have them in a binder. I know they were played with, but why did everyone scratch up their hollow foil so much? I mean, I owned the cards as a kid, too, and I didn't scratch up my hollow foil that much. That's, that's kind of sad. There's a lot of hollows in this book. I don't remember, I don't remember purchasing this book or what price I paid. Great book, though. Loving it. Another Zapdos. So, I don't know if the book is filled to the brim with hollows. It might be. Um, although not all in perfect condition. Uh, this is a double-sleeved electrode, so I'm going to try and use... Is it a double-sleeve? It looked like it. He's beat up. I don't think he's getting sent into a PSA. The, um, the rest of these look pretty nice. Oh, and there is an awesome swirl on that Misty's gold duck. The, uh, so sad news also, I'm just conversating with y'all. As I said, I wish this was a live stream. 
Um, but while I'm just conversating, so sadly, yeah, the PSA, we still have another 45 business days to go until we see those original 15 PSA grades, guys. So that's kind of upsetting. I mean, it is upsetting, but, um, you know, we'll just roll with the punches. Um, I was expecting those cards to be back within, like, the next week. I wasn't expecting to have such a gigantic delay, um, which makes me nervous about sending in the bulk set of... Wow, it's almost like there's a swirl, kind of, just like a ring. Um, so it makes me nervous about sending in the bulk 100, how long that's going to take. Um, looking at, like, 150 to 200 business days, really. This is a really nice Kingdra. Um, like a half swirl at the bottom, but still really nice Kingdra on the front. Is the back great? So it looks like they hardly played their Kingdra. That's a little white in there, but that's probably worth setting aside. It's a really nice Kingdra. And I've always been a Kingdra fan because um, not a lot of people like Kingdra. I do not remember purchasing this book. I know not everything's in great condition, but this is a mother load of hollows. This is just an insane mother load of hollows. Is this Missy Stardust in as good condition as I think it is? It's a really clean one. And we haven't forgotten to sell out the fake one. We're going to do that today for the winter. Um, um, uncle again. Sorry, uh, Dave. Uh, it's not that I don't want you to win every time. That wasn't the case. It's just you kind of used your wife as an out, um, which I get. Um, my wife doesn't want me hitting on anime characters either. And this Missy's Golden Light's in really good condition, too. It looks like this dude did not play. And, look, there is that, that swirl at the bottom right. That is a super clean swirl. That one I am not imagining. Um, I don't even know swirl was a thing until I started, like, seeing it as a part of a listing for a lot of cards. The back is pretty clean. Are these scratches? I see some surface scratches. Are these on the... So, so was it wow there's yeah there's some but that's not that's not bad that is a clean missy's gold duck i think we can all agree wow you, and then we got this awesome rocket scyther i believe david lee has an awesome uh rocket scyther as well i think his was first edition though so a little bit cooler than mine some scratches in the back no swirl but still awesome card Awesome art. Is the back clean? Uh, it's decent, but it's not clean enough. I don't know if it's PSA worthy. I'm gonna put it to the right. Well, you know, I'll go back and review these cards later too. When I when I, you know, go to the organization. Wow, this is a clean magneton. Loving this series. I don't remember what series this is supposed to be with this symbol. Oh, dominant swirl, baby. Fairly clean on the back. Not clean as on the front. Oh, so those are, those are some scratches. Oh, almost like a double swirl, like right next to each other. It's a really cool magneton, though. Um, let's see here. Giovanni's Neo King. There's not a lot of hollow fall to work with, is there? Most of the Neo King takes it up the card, and then there's like this little bit to the left. But he's looking really clean too. Looks like he was, like, never played. Got a little corner bend, I think, in the top right. I'm going to put him on the definitely probably PSA him later. So we're still doing the quest for 100. I may make a video about it today. I may not. Um, you'll probably see most of these cards in it. Um, but I do need to start organizing my stuff better. I've been slow about it. Um, I have a lot of stuff I did get done around the house too but i haven't spent a lot of time with the family or at least trying to spend more it's a clean air because wow i keep getting that most of these are in english so even if they get like sevens it's still better than like a nine japanese it, it's a big difference guys are these still all so this card's really beat up but what is it what is this card is it another hollow oh my god i don't remember purchasing this book although this is this is beat to hell, but, uh, my God, when did I purchase this book, and how much did I pay for it? Holy shit. 
I don't usually pay. I, man, I don't remember what I paid for this book. Wiggly Puff to me is funny because I was like, Jiggly Puff needs an evolution, and then to me, and then like Wiggly Puff, oh, I was like, oh yeah, cool evolution for Jiggly Puff. But I guess Jiggly Puff is you know one of the better Smash players in Smash Bros. I don't think they put Wiggly Puff in Smash Bros. as a playable character. It's a decent Nine Tails. The other thing I gotta do while I'm doing all this, especially when I'm doing the PSA Quest for 100, I gotta look for all the misprints. I know the big one for Nine Tails is the damage isn't there at all, but the damage is there. I think that's all on the card. It looks like that's all on the card. I know a lot of these are pretty trash condition, but these are the classics. And oh, and of course, a Lapras. Always don't have a Lapras, but that one is that the card or is that the sleeve? So there's surface wear, but at least that gigantic dent. I mean, that's a lot of surface wear. Oh my god. <laughs> That thing was dragged across the table endlessly. Oh, okay, so we got a, um, but he's not in perfect condition. Of course, the non hollow one's in better condition. Um, wow, guys, this video may be a long video. Oh, okay, so we do run out of hollows eventually, but man, that is. I don't remember buying this book. I really don't. Oh, man. So, yeah, you, you don't know. Oh, so he didn't bother to sleeve. That's fine. We got one of his other sleeves, and we'll go ahead and. Sleeve it. That sleeve the card. I'll just organize him for later. He's not hollow. It would have been fantastic. And you'll see what I mean as soon as I pull this one out. If this one would have been in that condition, he's got a big old bend right there. And now Dark Hollow Kazam is one of the hardest hollow foils to see. So person him online like you're going to deal with some difficult people who won't label him, whether he's hollow in the description or not. They want you to, they try to use it as a sales technique for their non-hollows. But like when it shows up and it's not hollow, you can just return it anyways. I'm loving these cards. I, of course, just wish they weren't, you know, in such bad condition. They're great cards to look at, though. I mean, me personally... Uh, I'm a collector of just getting the card, and as long as most of the artwork is there, we're good to go. This Dark Hypno would have been way cooler if it was not d destroyed at the top. I had the same issue as a kid. I don't know what I did to do that to them. It's a really clean muck. I might set him aside. He's got a little bit of white in him. That is a really clean muck. I'm probably going to set him aside to closer examine later. What was funny to me is Aerodactyls do not sell very well money-wise and or speed-wise. He's got a lot of surface wear anyways. Surface wear just being on the hollow foil. I guess I'll start saying hollow foil wear. Neo King seen better days. Neo Queen. I, of course, like Neo Queen as a kid, so I couldn't get nearly as many Neo Kings. I had an army of Neo Queen, so I, of course, you know, Said Neo Queen was the way to go. Also, Mega Punch just sounds like an awesome attack. He might be. He might. I know this isn't PSA Quest for 100, guys, but. Nah, I'll keep him over here for now. I'm interested in what this one is. <laughs> a vile plume vile. Oh! Okay, you have my attention now, sir. That makes sense to why he has a special sleeve. Although, you should have sleeved him sooner, whoever you was your owner. Because there is some... But he's a first edition. Man, that, that sucks, and I get it. They probably thought, hey, you know what? It's just the back of the card. But I'll tell you what, I think, you know, from sales experience and running into other collectors... It's like the back of the card is worth more than the front of the card. I'll probably still have this one graded, though. It's a first edition hollow. That's pretty, pretty cool. Oh, man. Sorry. Just some quick look at Hitmachan. Some Hypnos. Got a 
Hollow Fossil Hypno. Got a Jump Fluff. Got another Hollow? Yep. He's also really hard to see his Hollow Foil Hollow Hypno. And a Dark Arbok, who actually looks to be in pretty good condition. Slight swirl. That was the back. back is pretty decent we'll set you aside for now Arbok how's this Mew this ancient Mew is it the one I always am looking for nope it is not the misprint ancient Mew and they jammed they jammed two cards in here right he jammed two cards in sleeves in here how did this person do this okay so that Zapdos has seen better days okay so he Guess the ancient mirrors in good condition. We're gonna have to pull this one out to see. Looks clean to me. Although this is a hard card to look at. I don't really see any libel damage. I'll probably send him into PSA. Ancient Mew, believe it or not, even though he's pretty common because of him being a promo card, he uh if he hits the 9s or 10s for PSA, that's a crappy sleeve. We'll use that crappy sleeve for that crappy Zapdos. If he hits the 9s or 10s, even if it's the non-misprint version, he can still end up, end up in the 100s. Now, I don't know how much he really sells for in the 100s, but I know a lot of people, like, it's a pretty consistent ask for. This is a really nice Ampharos. I mean, it's a pretty good Ampharos. There is, of course, where... Um, but I know Ampharos is kind of like sought after for some reason um that's a decent one i'll put him to the left left is you know probably put him on psa quest for 100 real soon uh swirl right there this is actually a really good blossom kind of funny as kids we just don't play the cards that look that don't look cool and some of the cards that don't look cool probably have some of the better abilities and damage and we just didn't understand wow that is a, that's a really good english blossom putting that one to the side okay well i know this video is going on for a while guys and i'm not intentionally doing that this is just i grabbed the book i didn't go through it before i made the video there is a lot i don't think y'all mind too much because they're all really cool cards to look at now this is the uh legendary collection machamp which actually i believe is worth more than the standard ones although this one Oh, I thought it had somewhere. Maybe it's just the sleeve or the front. I see silvering on the front, but no whiting on the back. That's rare. But this is the Legends Collection, so I think he's actually worth more than the original Machamp. Now, I believe Shadowless non-First Edition Machamp is worth a lot, or First Edition Shadowless Machamp is worth a lot. Machamp gets weird, okay? Let's just put it that way. Machamp gets really weird as a card to value. It's a nice mint, Misty's Tentacruel. Let's see. Is that just the sleep? So he's got surface wear, which has been really common, or hollow wear. It's been really common with the cards in this binder. And you'll find that to be really common with older hollow cards. I'll probably give him a second look, though. It's not that bad. And as I said, guys, we haven't received our PSA cards yet that we sent in. So we have no idea, really... Like, it's all guessing right now for us. We, you know, the ones that have heavy, obvious damage, like this Venomoth that has a gigantic bend in it, we know not to send this in. Like, this got liquid on it. It's what caused it to harden and bend like that. So, yeah, sorry. We we know not to send those in for sure. But it's a decent dark machamp. He's got good swirl top left. Um... Out a ton of scratches though that sucks yeah it really sucks i mean that it really hurts the value of this binder i'm gonna list a lot of these at like a penny the shipping will be high the shipping's gonna be like five dollars each of these i'm having some issues though um i send a lot of things standard mail if they don't if they're not worth a certain dollar amount and I don't know if the USPS is losing my mail because I know it's making it to my giveaway winners. I don't know if people are trying to scam me and just save themselves the five, four dollars when they get their card that they purchased and keep the card and claim it and mate doesn't have a tracking number, which kind of sucks um, that people would do that. Um, because you get the card, I'm sending it in top loads and sleeves. 
you're receiving it in the condition, you're receiving the card that you purchased. Um, it, it, it's, a, it's a little known thing in the eBay Pokemon community. If someone sets the shipping to $5 for, uh, you know, they list the card correctly and they send you your exact card, it comes in the condition that it was pictured. It's a little sort of known, like, honorable thing in, in the eBay community that, like, hey, yeah, no, it's obvious the shipping was, you know, 4 or $5, and I listed the card at a penny. I just want to try and, you know, make that leeway, a little, little extra dollar from the shipping versus paying the extra eBay fees for a higher listing fee and to get the bids going. It's a, it's a pretty well-known thing in the eBay Pokemon community, so it's kind of a shame, like, if people are getting mad, like, they figure they can just, well, he charged for tracking, and he didn't give me tracking, but my card made it, and it came in the condition that it was listed in, and, and so I'm going to go ahead and decide to, he just reminds me from the mushroom guy from Mario Brothers, so that's, it's kind of upsetting if people are doing that, um, if you don't want to pay for the shipping, just decline the sale, and uh, we'll move on. But if your card comes in the condition that you were expecting it to, and it makes it to you, you're robbing me and anyone who does that to, to make up for these these damaged cards we get. Because we're trying to keep the thing flowing. People still want these damaged cards or not perfect condition cards. People who, who still want the card, the nostalgia of it, without having to pay PSA 9 and 10 prices. This Dragon Knight, though... Has wear, but at least it's better than most of the ones that have wear. It's got some silvering on the front. The back is pretty clean. I, I'll put them over to the left for now. Dragon Knight, hollow, decent condition, or okay condition is still worth a good bit, even PSA. Um, but yeah, don't don't be that way. If you if you get your card and it comes in the condition, good swirl right there. And you make it on, and it makes it to you on time. Uh, yeah, you, you paid for the tracking, but you didn't need the tracking. The card made it to you. The tracking's more for me to protect me, the seller, I guess, from people who are going to purposely, you know, take advantage of the fact that, oh, I mean, this one's really beat up. And yeah, I do try and, uh, you know, I try and give away also the, the ones that probably won't sell. He's got a good swirl. So, you know, we were doing those giveaways early on in the series, and the series was rolling. We'll, we'll probably try and do that again. We try and, you know, take things that don't sell well off the eBay and, and, and try and, you know, do them as giveaways. So, and, and it's not that I don't want them. I do, but I have to have the money for other reasons. I got bills to pay. I got to move on. Um, there's a lot of people in the world who want them. This looks like a super clean, hopefully it is, a super clean... Japanese Misty Cedra. Please let that be a stretch. Oh man, that was like it's a stretch on the card. There is some surface wear, but there's like one dominant one right there. Oh, I was hoping it was a hair. Oh, uh, there is several. There is several. That sucks. Still, good looking card. Japanese cards usually are because people didn't usually play them as a kid. But would that be a Japanese card? You pretty much have to score a 9 to 10 to make it worth your time and money. It's the hard truth about it. Um, people just don't appreciate the artwork. They do want all the... They want all the original card, which I guess is understandable, but the price difference is huge. There's a beat-up Mewtwo promo. It's funny. I never saw this one as a kid. I don't recall that Mewtwo at all as a kid. I just now started seeing it because I got into the buying and selling and trading and collecting... This is the one that I saw all the time as a kid. And it looks like it was never played, which is fantastic. There's a few nicks, but it's worth looking at later. Um, oh, this still Fable looks like it's in good condition. Please be in as good condition as it looks. Oh, no, there is some. Damn it. That's rough. That's rough. Uh, I don't know why. I mean, I guess there has been some clean stuff, so I guess it's not too dumb to get my hopes up. It's just weird. Some people put their clean stuff in the back. Some people can put them up front. A few surface scratches. If it was Shadowless or First Edition, I'd consider it pretty strongly. A little bit too many nicks. I'll just, I mean, I'll just organize them for later. You guys might get to see the table. You may not. We'll see. Um... <laughs> 
I, I won't make y'all watch me put these on the table, but when I get them on the table, oh, it's like this is a full slot. Like they put more than two cards in this. Oh, nope, it was just two. Okay, it's a beat up wiggly tough. Like a big half swirl over to the right, but yeah, he got something spilled on him or something. He's like stiff. Okay, this one's got, like you can see, he's got like dirt or stains on the back. It's the first edition of Squirtle, but just too beat up to send in. Oh, got some flaming chickens here. He didn't sleeve. We got a penny sleeve for you, buddy. Uh, but he's got two main necks. This was always a cool drag night art to me. I've always liked that promo of him. This Articuno, I don't think I ever saw as a kid either, which, oh, this one has definitely seen better days. Oh my goodness, that one has seen way better days. Oh. That's a cool like to buzz. I remember this one as a kid. This one looks like it's just dirt. Let's see, let's pull them out a little bit. It's a really good I probably paid fair price for this binder. I'm just going to the worker. Oh that's rough. He got like tape on it or something as a kid. Uh, now like if all these would have been like near mint, then I know I would have gotten a steal because these are all good cards, like if they were, of course, in better condition. But they're cool cards to go through. Uh, that's, we're talking to the first editions, some non hollow So I guess we're, 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 we're phasing out the hollow phase, and we're going into the first edition phase. I'll speed these ones up. Just trying. The good news is most of these things were sleeve, but that kind of like... I guess these probably weren't his first hand. They were someone else's that he got from or whatever, and then he realized he needed to penny sleeve them because, just, you know, they're in a binder and they're sleeved. Um, I don't see anything too crazy, guys. A lot of these is just first editions. Um, nothing too crazy. I know I'm just looking at the binder. I'll, I'll organize all this later. Um... Oh, Eric Crystal Fairy first edition. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah, it looks like the rest is just first editions. But that's pretty. That's a nice way to end, I guess. So I know a little bit longer video than usual. I gotta get all this stuff organized. I've been telling myself I was going to. Um, the first edition is like you know a lot of them are good condition. That's good. Um, but yeah, it looks like the PSA thing's on delay. So just uh, we'll probably do another giveaway. We gotta send that fake Darius out to uh, Uncle. It should be the same address. Just let me know if it isn't Uncle MP or whatever your 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 name is, working uncle or something. Um, we'll figure out the next giveaway. We'll probably do probably one of the cards from this binder that we just did or something like that. Or we'll do um, a poll of a uh, of base set cards. So just you know look out for that giveaway, everybody, and uh, we'll go from there.